Hello friends, this is Mahesh Yulikar and you are watching Next Gen Mass. In this video, we are going to discuss the problem of CSI net June 2017 problem of real analysis. Example for AB belongs to N, consider the sequence DN equal to NC divided by NCB for N greater than AB. Which of the following statements are true as N approach to infinity? So we again four options. First option, DN converges for all values of A and B. Second option, DN converges if A less than B. Third option, DN converges if A equal to B. Fourth option, DN converges if A greater than B. If you want PDF of solution of this example, visit our website www.nextgenmass.com. In the description, link is available. DN equal to NC divided by NCB. So first we are going to discuss the option number three, which is about dn converges if a equal to b. Suppose a equal to b, then dn equal to nc divided by ncb equal to nc divided by nc equal to 1. So dn equal to 1. So it will be a constant sequence and the constant sequence is always convergent. Therefore option 3 is correct option. Now nc equal to n factorial divided by n minus a factorial into a factorial. If you write down the simplified form, then we have n into n minus 1, n minus 2 up to n minus a minus 1 divided by a factorial. Similarly, ncb equal to n into n minus 1, n minus 2 up to n minus b minus 1 divided by b factorial. dn equal to nc divided by ncb. So if you take the ratio of this two number, then we have n into n minus 1, n minus 2 up to n minus a minus 1 into b factorial divided by n, n minus 1, n minus 2 up to n minus b minus 1 into a factorial. Now we are going to discuss the option number 2 where a less than b. So if a less than b, then we can easily say is that between n and n minus b minus 1, we have one term n minus a minus 1. So therefore from the numerator and denominator, the common terms are cancelled and we have 1 upon n minus a minus 2, n minus a minus 3 up to n minus b minus 1 into b factorial divided by a factorial. Apply limit on the both side, limit n tends to infinity dn equal to limit n tends to infinity. Here denominator approach to infinity as n approach to infinity. So b factorial divided by infinity will be 0. Therefore dn is convergent for a less than b. So option number 2 is correct. Now we are going to discuss the option number 4 which is about a greater than b. So if a greater than b then with the similar argument between n and n minus a minus 1 we have one term n minus b minus 1. So if we cancel common terms from numerator and denominator we have n minus b minus 2 n minus b minus 3 up to n minus a minus 1 b factorial divided by a factorial. Apply limit on the both side we have limit n tends to infinity n minus b minus 2 into n minus b minus 3 up to n minus a minus 1 b factorial divided by a factorial. As n approach to infinity the numerator approach to infinity so limit n tends to infinity dn has value infinity therefore dn is not convergent for a greater than b. So option number 4 is wrong. And option number 1 is also wrong because it is about the convergence for all values of a and b but it is not convergent for a greater than b. So option number 1 is also wrong. Thanks for watching. For more videos, like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon of next gen mess.